Hi, it's Krista at The Secret Urinary. Welcome to a craft studio tour. Today I'm gonna to take you around. I'm gonna show you a little bit of how I organize my yarn, where I keep all of my craft supplies, my crochet supplies, and some tips on how to create a relaxing craft environment. So starting out is finding your favorite place to crochet. I love crocheting in this bed. It's my old sleigh bed that I just painted. I love it. This is my favorite place to crochet and with a TV at the foot of my bed. So I don't have to look to the side or look to the other side to look at the TV. It's just right in front of me. So I can glance up super easy whenever I feel like it. There's also a ton of natural light that comes in plus a lamp and I do like my lamp or my light source on my non-dominant side. So for me, it's my left side, but if you're left-handed, you would like your light source on the right side. That just really helps see what you're doing. It helps, you'll, you'll enjoy it, trust me. So I also put a yarn shelf to hold up my TV. It saves space and I get to look at my gorgeous yarn, my favorite colors right at the foot of my bed. So when I'm in bed, that is what I see, or when I'm crocheting in bed, that is what I see. So I love it, it is so good. Now behind, I keep all of my yarn. It is sorted by color and by weight. So variegated, four weight, DK, two weight and mixed, surplus and Kenyan acrylic. If you'd like to see more of how I store my yarn, I will be doing a separate video about that. I also just like some nature inside, so I've got a cute little plant. My family thought I crocheted it because I crochet so many plants. I'm like, no, it's real. They're like, what? You have a real plant? I have a real plant. Here is another plant that is not real. It is crochet, but I also love it. Also made a footrest cover because I think it just gives me that glam vibe I love. And I, of course, it's Eyelash Dazzle, which is one of my very, very favorite yarns. So made a cute little spot to crochet, nice little table where you can keep your cup of tea, your patterns or anything, and then you can also just be relaxing here and enjoying. Oh, I do have some yarn up top, forgot about that. So there is some white and grays to blacks. Those are not acrylic. So those are all natural fibers or fancy of some sorts. A bunch of silk I'd love to use. Mm, what to do with that? So that just sits up there. I haven't even made it pretty yet. I should make it pretty, but it's up there anyway. My yoga balls, my plants, all of this is seasonal. It can be changed however we like. Everybody needs a disco ball. That just <laughs> gives them such a fun, fun vibe. Blanket ladder, love that one. Really cute, great place for ladders. I'm actually addicted to it now. I want more, even in my living room for just blankets for the kids. It's so fun and easy and accessible. So I really like that. I have ribbons, they don't have to be here. Oh, those are door stops. So the cat can't break in, she knows how to open the door. So we put about 10 kilos of weight against the door she can't open it then so that's why those jugs are sitting there i have all of my paper ribbons for presents and decorations for parties and such there and my favorite painting from my girlfriend marianne love it she made that for it was our wedding present actually a billion years ago not a billion just 20. oh sadai's up there hi sadai that's my Lion. Now this is a pattern from Vanessa Mootsy, and then I just kind of made it bigger. But that is Sadai. He sits up there. I also have a bowl of my colorful yarn just because I got this bowl. I'm in love with it. Nothing to do with it. It's actually pretty big. So it's sitting up there. Oh, who doesn't love that? It's one of my favorite things also. And then finished objects are pretty much all in this shelf system here. I have more, I had to take some out, but these are all just my finished objects. Then behind here, 
this is some topics for live chats or video ideas my lambkin blanket doesn't fit anywhere it's actually really huge empty whip baskets now that is new this year and I love it I used to have all my whip baskets available with my whips in the same shelving system now I have them separate I'm sure that's the way to go it feels so nice and liberating extra granny squares extra projects Christmas crochet a hot mess and then hot messes all down there and some technology stuff in there extra camera supplies whip or ufo bags for when i need to go through my ufos and get them sorted out my huge yoga ball which i still love very much and here is oh i guess we could start up here my stitch markers all sorted by color my books they should be sorted by color but i've been lazy some yarn samples to check the colors. I'm feeling those colors a lot and just some cute little things in the corner. My crochet hooks in my cute Speedy Granny Ruth tins. So though that's a pattern coming out or already out depending when you're watching this video. Love that pattern so much. Even a huge one. Now I thought of putting a plant in here would be so cute, right? But I, haven't, I just finished it yesterday so it's still sitting empty big container for my ends and then here oh my yarn ball winder of course and then here are my whips so I keep a bin of um, stitch markers like whip tins these have stitch markers and try to find one that hasn't been well, that's pretty good so stitch markers a threader scissors like that and I do usually try to put the stitch marker color on the edge so I know I can pick a color that contrasts with my whip. A bin of tape measures and then my UFOs. I keep a stitch marker with it so I remember what hook I was using. And these three have to get frogged or caked or used. Those are my scraps right there. And then UFOs right there. And then these are more uh, whips at the bottom. All these projects that I'm working on. That's my temperature blanket. I still have about two months to do on it. I'm just waiting for cooler weather. And my temperature blanket, who's right here? Isn't that pretty? Love it. It's really big. Like it's really big. There's a lot of blanket in there. So that is going to be gorgeous when it is done so I'm gonna be about six months late on that but it's gonna be a great project to do when it is cold so that is how I have my yarn space all organized and how I keep my yarn sorted out and inspiring so you can see it and you can go and grab it and you can be looking at it and just being like oh this color could go with that color and this color would probably go with that color and you can get some really good inspiration just by being in the room. I would love to see what your craft space looks like and if you have any questions for me or if there's something I forgot to show you let me know in the comments under this video. I'm waiting for you in that video right there and stay hooked.